Now ahead of his much-anticipated visit to the White House, Iraqi Prime Minister Mustafa al-Kadimi has said on Friday that his country no longer requires U.S. combat troops to fight the Islamic State group in the region. During an exclusive interview with the Associated Press on Friday, al-Kadimi said that Iraq will still ask for U.S. training and military intelligence gathering to combat ISIS threats in the war-torn nation. He spoke ahead of a planned trip to Washington, where he is due to meet U.S. President Joe Biden. What we want from the American presence in Iraq is to support our forces in training, developing their efficiency and capabilities, and in security cooperation. The Iraqi army and security forces today are ready and capable of defending themselves. Today we need only the support and the development of our capabilities. And we do not need any foreign combat forces on Iraqi soil. And at the same time, Iraq has a set of American weapons that need maintenance and training. And we will ask the Americans to continue supporting and developing our forces and their capabilities. al Kadimi will meet Biden on Monday to discuss a possible full U.S. troop withdrawal from his country. The talks take place while the U.S. military and diplomatic facilities in Iraq faces attacks blamed on pro-Iranian armed groups. In Monday's meeting, the two leaders are expected to specify a timeline for the complete troops drawdown from the country. They are also likely to touch on other crucial issues like Iran and its role in Iraq, the popular mobilization forces, and the increasing role of pro-Iran militias in the region. There are currently 2,500 U.S. military personnel deployed in Iraq. The current U.S. mission of training Iraqi forces has its most recent origins in former President Barack Obama's decision of sending troops back to Iraq in 2014 to counter the advances of Islamic State in western and northern Iraq. The circumstances in Iraq are not like Afghanistan, geographically, demographically, socially. Even the social structure of the tribes is different. The Iraqi forces can defend themselves, are able to combat these terrorist groups. Also the popular support, the international support for our forces is there. The circumstances in Iraq today are different than in the year 2014. Yes, there are sleeper cells which we deal on a daily basis with our brave forces. Absolutely, Iraq is not like Afghanistan. Al Qadimi's Washington trip comes at a crucial time of faltering public trust on Iraqi government. Ongoing missile attacks by terror groups, series of devastating hospital fires, and soaring coronavirus cases have seriously undermined the public's confidence on Qadimi's government. Meanwhile, the upcoming federal elections have also pushed the country towards the edge. Al Qadimi has promised to hold early elections now scheduled for October and to bring to account the killers of activists, including that of prominent commentator Hisham al Hashimi, who was killed outside his home last summer. <laughs>